I am from the People's Republic of Bangladesh. I'm going to present my presentation on an ethnic group of Bangladesh. First of all, Bangladesh is a country of harmony, love, and diversity. There are lots of people, they are from different beliefs, they are from different cultures, and they live together there. Today, my topic to discuss is a small minority group of Bangladesh. They are called Bede or Baita. In our country, majority of the people, they are Bengali. We have one culture, but we have minority groups. They are from different cultures, they are from different beliefs, and they live in a small piece of the country. And there is another minority group, they are not counted, they are called this minority, they are Bede. They have a small history. Uh, they were first in Burma, uh, the Arakan state. In 1638, that time this was a kingdom, and from there, with a king, they came to Bangladesh. And they have stayed there in the rivers. This is their brief history. And they are called water gypsy, the vulnerable gypsy, and they are one kind of nomads. They are not like other European or Asian gypsies. They live in land, but they are gypsies, they live in the water. They used to live in the water, they do their all the life chores in the water, they move from one place to another place. They move. First, I will have talk about their living or the lifestyle. They make their own woods of all. Each family have one wood and they used to live in the woods. Uh, they move from one place to another place by these woods. They eat in the woods. They uh, marry in the woods. And also they live their life in the woods. <coughs> they make a small room in woods by giving a small shed. And there they eat, they cook, they do everything. The next thing is their economy. In economic condition, they're very poor. They, uh, most of the people of the Bede community, they live under the poverty line. About education, mostly all of them are uneducated. They don't, don't get any education because they don't live in a specific place. They move from one place to another place, so they can't get admitted in any school and uh, they pass their life in the woods, so they don't get an education. The next thing is their belief and the religion. Mostly all of the Vedic people, they are Muslim, but they also believe in Hinduism, they believe in the spirits and Hindu devs and devis. There is another cultural thing in the Vedic people, is Sardar. They have Bohor, the last word I have written here is Bohor, they make lots of boots together and make a group of boots and this group of boots are called bohor. They move one bohor to another place, they stay in one place for a few days and then they move to another place. And in their groups or bohor, there is one person who is the leader of the bohor, he is called Shardar. He lead all the groups, he become the jazz of the groups, he become the uh, pioneer of the groups, he does everything but he don't do any work. He get money, he get support from other community members. They support him and they lead all the community. All the people, they are obliged to obey the Shodar, the leader. The next thing is their work or uh, their life, how they live their life. <coughs> Mostly all the Vedic people, they are attached with snake. They take snake, they catch snake. Also they go from one heart to another heart and they show snake games. They charm people by uh, making the snake from one gesture to another gesture. They play with the snake. And uh, by selling snakes, they also make some money. And this is their main work. Another work they do, they treat people. They have their own treatment. They have their own medicine. They have their own style of treatment. But they are not recognized by the present work. But they believe that their treatment is very good. They can cure people. And specifically in my childhood, the Bede people, the, mostly the girls, they went to our house. They moved from one house to another house and calling that if anyone needs any treatment. And the people, those who believe in uh, uh, some odd things, they call them and they get treatment from them. And most of their treatment are from their own belief. They are not anything accepted in this time. And about their marriage, uh, the Bedi people, they have to be a 
they with them. They have to leave their community to come with them. The next thing is a very important thing. In 1989, there was a movie, and it was very famous in the decade of 90s. It's called Vedame Dusna. There was a story of them. A Vedame, uh, may means daughter, a Veda daughter, a Veda girl. She used to sell snakes, and uh, also she used to treat people by snakes. And one, uh, the prince of the king, he was bitten by a snake. The snake uh, bit him and uh, he was going to die. At that time, no one was able to cure him. And some people, they called a Bede girl that she can only cure him. And the king called her and told that, what you want, I will give you, just you have to cure my son. And she told that, uh, I will ask something to you after being him, him cured. And she gave her treatment by snake, and the uh, prince became cured, and then she asked the king to marry him. <laughs> but the king, he was very afraid, he was very shy in the community that a Bedeme is coming to marry a prince. That was impossible. So he was not able to give his son to a Bedekar. And that time there was a long hardship of them, and once uh, she was able to manage the king, and they were married. And it was very famous in 1989, and still in our country, the person here he is called Ilias Kanchon. He was the main actor of the movie, and she is called Anju Bush. She is not uh, acting now, but he was the best actor of that time, and in this time, he is working in the society. Uh, he is working to reduce the road accidents in our country, and he is very famous in this time. And they two were the actor hero and heroines of the movie. And there is a small clip of the movie. The famous song <laughs> And after all, I have finished my presentation. I discussed about the better people, their lifestyle, their war, and their culture. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>